Okay guys, Mercnator95 here, and um, just wanted to uh, tell you, this is the um, tutorial. It's probably gonna, I'm probably going to say the same thing. This is just the final product. You can have more things in your dock and everything. I only had two. But um, it's almost exactly like mine. I had to pay for mine. This is a free way of doing it. It is a decent amount of steps, and it takes some time, but if you really like this and you want this look in your PC, it's worth it. Um, so yeah, um, watch the video and enjoy. Uh, Mercanator95 here, and I'm going to show you, this might be in two parts, I don't know, we'll see how long the video is. Um, but I've been working for a while here trying to figure out how to make a tutorial for you guys, and, um, this will only work for 32-bit PCs, and, um, and it will not have the folders and the um, uh, sliders on the side will look a little different. But everything else is about the same. Um, but anyway, so here we go. First thing um, you want to do is um, unlock the taskbar if it's unlocked and move it to the top like this. Then you want to right click on it go to properties and you want to use small icons and lock it and then hit OK. See it should be small like this and then here's how we're gonna put the theme on. You go to this folder that I have the link in the description and then this is what you'll get after you extract it. This has everything you need in it. I made this. Um, okay so we're gonna go to theme installer stuff and then Windows theme installer version 1.1 Okay, and then let this load. This takes a little bit. Depends on your computer. Mine only has one gig of RAM, or I think two gigs, maybe. Like, this is my laptop since it's 32 bit. My other computer that I record off of is 64 bit, so it will not work. This is the freeway. The one that's on my computer is paid. Alright, um, themes. You want to click on themes, explorer.exe, and explorer frame dot dll after you do that um okay let me remove this okay all right then you're gonna hit browse for the first one which is theme and then you're gonna navigate to where i have or where you saved my folder which hopefully was the desktop um mac theme for pc then you want to go theme installer stuff windows 7 theme and then down at the bottom Mac 7 V2. Open. Then explore exe. Browse. Then you want to go out to theme installer stuff. Explorer and frame. Um, I have frame for some reason. x86. And then click the explorer. Then for this one you want to hit browse and it should be right there. Click that. Okay so after you have all of them done then you want to hit install theme. Now give it some time, it'll do its thing, and then it's going to look kind of dumb at first, but you'll have to reboot. You want to hit yes, apply it now. Okay, so it wants you to restart the explorer. I think it does it itself right here, yeah. See, it's doing itself here, so give it a second. going to take a little bit of time, not too much. Okay, now we're back. Now you should have like the gray kind of apple theme, so your sliders are a little different and stuff. But, I mean it is about the same and you can't get as nice if you go on the freeway. I'm going to hit Restart Explorer. Okay, that says to change um, the Explorer frame and the shell. Uh, you have to restart your PC. So, to do that, oh, before we do that, right click right here. Oh, it did give an apple. Ha! Huh. I didn't think it would. Well, ain't that nice. I did not think it would. If it does that for you, good luck. But, uh, if it doesn't, then, oh well. I can't believe it did it, though. Alright. Well, <laughs> anyway, right click. You go to personalize 
and then um, come down here to desktop background and then we want to browse go to your desktop or wherever you saved my folder so um, and then Mac theme for PC and then wallpaper and then select this one right here and you want to make it fill save changes now that just changed your background and then we're going to right click on this theme hit save theme and we're going to call it Mac or whatever you'd like to call it, it doesn't really matter so now that's a saved theme that we have and we're going to X out of here and I'm going to come back um, I you have to reboot your PC at this step so after you do the reboot then um, my PC and now um, it should look something like this I don't know if you'll have the Apple but everything else should look the same um, okay well now what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, you don't have to do this step but if you'd like to you can um, here's my part one video but what it's called is it's called left sider and you see how um, your X buttons are over here this will put them on the left side like a Mac so we want to open our Mac theme folder left sider let's drag it onto our desktop okay um, I'm gonna copy this and put it back in real quick okay and so after you do that we're gonna take this and we're gonna drag it to your start bar watch it open keep it held in go down to all programs that'll open and then we want to come down until you find startup put it on startup let it open and then go in between here to where it says move to startup and let off okay now it's gonna go to startup so what that'll do is every time that your PC starts up it'll start this and see how everything moved over here now it's on the left hand side so close out now that's if you'd like that if you're if you don't want it like that then you just skip that step easy as that right um